I don't know, but I feel off. I was looking on Mr. Google, talking to Dr. Google. <laughs> What is up YouTube? It's your girl Lila and today I'm back with another finger video. So I know you I know a lot of y'all are probably shocked. I know a lot of y'all are probably shocked and I know my YouTube is probably like where you been? Why haven't you been posting? It's been like months. Well, I'm going to tell you why. The title is why. Boo-boo. That's why. So, I guess I'll show you all my belly. I am 33 weeks. 33 weeks today. And, um, well, not today, but I'm 33 weeks. Yeah, so let's get right into this video. Okay. So... Me and my boyfriend doing, okay, we were doing things that we weren't supposed to be doing because ain't no other way this situation happened. It happened by doing what you're not supposed to do. Yeah. So then, of course, start feeling symptoms, right? I didn't find out until I was 13 weeks. So let me tell you what happened prior to the 13 weeks. I was just feeling really, really off. You get what I mean? Like, you know, first of all, you know your body. You know your body. You know when you feel off. So I was feeling really off. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I thought I was going through depression. I was just all over the place. For one, I didn't know for sure because I'm irregular. So I don't get my period every month I don't get it every the same time like it's a regular she pops up when she wants to basically she says peekaboo hello boo I'm here that's what she does so for me me not getting my period was not anything abnormal that's normal for me like I go three months without getting it but yeah after that i was just feeling really weird the biggest thing the biggest thing was i was so sleepy when i tell you i literally was sleeping so much like y'all i would come home from school and i would just go straight to sleep you would literally think i was working 17 hours because that's how much sleep I was like. I was sleeping so much. I come home. I didn't even have energy to do my homework. I was just. Uh, huh. I would just sleep. It was like my body was so exhausted. I knew it was weird. Because for one. I can't. I'm not a type person. I really take naps. I don't really. Take naps like that. Like it's really hard for me to take naps. That's, that's how it used to be. You know before all this. I did not used to be able to take naps at all unless I was dead tired but in this case I was always dead tired so of course that's why I was taking naps so then I started noticing like certain foods just wasn't mixing with me I would I would I would eat it I'll be fine but then it's like I would have this weird aftertaste it's like a metallic Ugh, you just don't want to taste it. And that, that lasted a long time. The sleep lasted a long time. The, yeah. Pretty much the first trimester is the worst trimester. Just letting you know. It's pretty horrific. You know, of course, I was throwing up morning sick. Not really morning sicknesses because I don't even call it morning sickness because, for one, it don't happen in the morning. It just does it. I don't know why they call it that, but happens whenever it wants to and I was using the bathroom a lot yes I was using the bathroom so much when I tell y'all I had like the bladder of a two-year-old I couldn't hold nothing I had to go I had to go I had to go no if answer but I would wake up in the middle of my sleep 
who does that? I'm the type of person. I can sleep through the night. And then I, when I got to go in the morning, I go in the morning. I couldn't do that no more. So I was like, okay, let me just make sure just to be on the safe side. Take a test. You just you get the test. You take it. That's what you do. It came back negative. So I was like, oh, okay. So then something, then it started getting me more concerned. Something was really wrong with me. But in my I had like TMI. I had like diarrhea, y'all. Like it was so bad. I felt so weak. I thought something was wrong with me. I thought I was dying. So I ended up going to the hospital because something was wrong with me. Like I felt like I was I was about to pass out. I kept having diarrhea. It was crazy. Goes to the hospital. Perfectly fine. Nothing. So they took my pee. Ain't find nothing. Came back normal. So that's that. You know, if the hospital don't don't find nothing, then you really like come on now. The hospital. At this point, I'm still feeling off. Like I'm still feeling off. Like I'm not having diarrhea or um feeling like I'm about to pass out anymore. But I'm still feeling off. Like you just know when you're not yourself. You know when your body is just different. I was like, test, I'm fine. Like, negative, nothing good. That's just how I was thinking. But see, when you do something you're not supposed to do, of course, it's gonna come back on you. Some time goes by. I'm like, okay, let me just take another one just to make sure maybe I took it too soon or something. I don't know, but I feel off. I was looking on Mr. Google, talking to Dr. Google. Dr. Google was my friend. And everything is just kept saying, pranksy, 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 pranksy. I'm like, <laughs> what? No. So I was like, okay, I'm taking me now. So that's what I did. Take me another one. Negative. So I'm like, <laughs> period. Period. But then it wasn't on period because look where I'm at. Now at this point, I really think so. I'm dying. Like, when I tell you, I thought I was dying. I thought something was really wrong with me. I thought I was going to die because. I was not myself, I didn't feel like myself. Some times go by and I'm still feeling weird. So at this point, I'm like, like, you're not pregnant. What What else is wrong with you? <laughs> so I just couldn't pinpoint what was wrong with me. And at this point, I was just about to start giving up. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna see. One last time and that's it. My job, and I had this urge to take it like four in the morning. I was, you know, of course, I was chatting with my best friend Taylor. Shout out to you. I was like, something's wrong with me. Like, I need to, I need to know. And I call her at FaceTime her at four in the morning, y'all. I don't know how she was up, but she up and she answered. So I took it on the phone with her. I go in the bathroom, and um, I'm all scared. Like, I'm, I'm not really that that scared because I know who's gonna say no because. One, they all just said no. And I just wanted to use the last one that I had just to make sure that it was like, no. Take that last one. It's like front of one in my best friend. She's barely up, y'all. Like, she's tired. I'm, I'm tired. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm booby. I'm really tired. So, I, I be on stick. Take the test. Next thing you know, it didn't even take, you know that drink say, I really, you know how you read the instructions. That drink say, wait two minutes. I didn't have to wait two minutes. Two seconds was all it took. And you know, I just see one line and the next thing you know, the next line pop up and it was just dark. And I was like, it wasn't even light no more. It was just dark. And I'm just like. My best friend, she hears me pause. So she's like, was news, was team would stop playing with me. That's what she's like. She's like, stop playing with me. And I'm just like. I just flipped the camera and I showed her. This is an actual test. This is really old. Super old. So yeah, so when I flipped the camera, she was like, oh, Aaliyah. And she started crying. She started crying off. And I was just like, I was shook. I was, it was four in the morning. I was just like, I went from like dead tired to wide awake real quick i'm like bruh i'm like how 
I'm like, I really have to how? It didn't even make sense to me. So then I thought I was trimming, but I'm like, I thought the test was wrong, y'all, because I didn't have no more tests, and I wasn't about to go get no more because the heck already already like got a whole bunch just trying to make sure because i thought i was dying like, so she's just on the phone just crying 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 and i'm just over here like speechless and then so my job it's time to go it's time to go to school so i go to school and i see Dwayne. so i pulled up to the side i pulled up to the side and i was like Look, <laughs> I was like, look. He didn't even have. He, I didn't even think he had a reaction. His face just like his eyes just got big, and that was it. Like he was just like. And then the bell rang, so he had to hurry up and go to class. So I was like, I was just. When I tell you, I was so eager to go to school that day, just because like he needed to see this. So then we was talking about. So then I'm really, so I was like. Okay, so how we gonna tell our parents? Cause I didn't want to keep on holding on to that. That was too much for me. And not only that, but it was hard. Like you can't hide those symptoms. For one, I was coming home sleeping every day. I was using the bathroom like three times a night. You could just tell something was wrong. I was going through something. So I can't hide it forever. Like I just needed to let it, let it, let it be. We spent like what? two three days just thinking about like how we're going to tell them like how we're going to tell them because i was just like we got to get this over with i actually was going to therapy y'all so i was going to therapy and i told my therapist the day i told the day i told him was the day i told my therapist yeah it was the same day i took it and i told her and i was like i was just crying i was bawling my eyes out and i was like i don't know what i'm gonna do and I was just all over the place. I was just a mess because I got it. And it was so it was so convenient that I had therapy that day. Like it was so convenient because Lord knows I needed it that day. That day I needed it. I think it was like winter break. He was like after the break, and I was like, no, we need to tell them now. He was like, no, 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 we need to tell them after the break. I don't have the patience to wait that long. Like not only that, but symptoms are still showing. Like. He's just like, no, after the break, after the break. And I'm just like, no, no. So then ended up waiting till after the break. Because it's totally different from you saying like, hey, we need to tell them. And then when you actually like feel yourself about to say something. And then you just catch yourself and you suck them words right back in your mouth. My job. I, I had therapy every Tuesday. The first Tuesday right after break. I had therapy and I was like. You know what? I told her I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna tell him today. I wouldn't plan on telling him to that day, but I was, I was like, I'm gonna tell him today because I just couldn't hold it any longer, and it was just, it was just eating me alive, y'all. And here's the worst part about it, y'all. I wanted to tell my dad in the therapy session, and it was snowing that day. It snowed so bad that we had to do a virtual session. Do you know how how mad I was? <laughs> I was like, oh my goodness. I do not want to talk about myself. But I was like, you know what? I couldn't hold it in no more. I couldn't hold it in. He's upstairs and I'm downstairs doing my little therapy session or whatever. So I'm like, okay, I, I just need to do this. So I go upstairs and I was like, hey, can you come here real quick? And so he comes downstairs and we're sitting at the table and I'm like, I was just like, I'm right there. <laughs> I just said it so fast. It was, he just he just sat there. I was like, did you hear me? <laughs> My dad was like, what'd you say? And I was like, I'm When I tell you, I was bawling. I was, actually, I started crying before I even got the words out, y'all. I've never felt so bad in my life. He's like, he's just, first he just pauses. He just puts his hand on his head. And I think he's rubbing his hair. That right there was the most scariest hand on the head rubbing your hair I have ever seen. Because I was scared. Because I'm like, oh, I'm about to get it. I'm about to get it. And then when I tell you, he went off. And then 
my therapist my therapist she was like okay well i gotta go the session was starting to be over and i was like i was freaking out of my mind i was like oh my goodness oh my god so she hangs up now i'm dealing with this all by myself so i'm so scared he's just going off he's going ham and then he was like write down all the stuff that you did this year and he was going off, 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 off. And my job, I was, I'm a little prankster, so I like the prank. I guess to make sure it wasn't no prank, he made me take, he made me take a, he made me take a test. And my job, so I took the test. That test, I don't know. That test was super, super duper faint. But the one I took was like dark. So I was, I was like, um. So for a minute, I thought I was, I thought I wasn't, and I was like, I just said something, and I wasn't, because I didn't take my, I didn't take a second one after I got the positive ones so I was like but then I guess when my dad went back in the bathroom I guess the other line popped up so then I was like oh okay so then he was like go look at it so I'll go look at it and it was it was there it, like or not it was there he's going off y'all he went off for like a week straight and I ain't never seen my dad so mad before. like never ever and it was like I was just crying all the time, all the time. You do not know what it feels like to disappoint your parents until this very moment. That's when it's like, it's on a whole nother level. It's not even like you just got a bad grade. No, it's like you ruined their life. So then after I, after I tell my dad, my dad tells my grandma. It's so my grandma. Me and my grandma, we're like this. Super close. When I tell you, she was so mad. And I tell you, my heart was crushed. And she was like, you don't know what to do? You don't know what to do? Get rid of it. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I knew, see, I knew it had been some time because I've been feeling off for a long, long time. So I know it wasn't just no cell or anything. Like, I knew it was definitely my dad and my grandma they was telling me they was losing sleep over this they couldn't they couldn't function like it was crazy it it, was, it really had them stressed out you know? that is not something you want to hear from your 15 year old daughter at all he had to start getting me ready for doctor's appointments so that's what he did now it's time to go to my first doctor's appointment i'm not going to tell you how doing I'm told with his parents because that's his story to tell. He's going to tell that with his channel. But yeah. And this is what we see. This was the first. It was like already a baby. You see that? Just sitting in there chilling. Legs all extended. When I seen this, I was just like, and it was just in there. It was in there moving and everything. Like, I'm going to show you all the clip. Like, I was just so shook. Like, I couldn't believe something was really inside of me. Like, that was so crazy to me. That was weird. And it was just a lot of mixed emotions. Like, I was super emotional around that time, y'all. Super emotional. It was hard coming home because you coming home with straight, straight, it's like just straight disappointment. Straight disappointment. It's just a reminder of it. Like, you disappointed you disappointed it was just so hard and then my job me and my mom we never really we don't really talk like that but my dad was like you gotta tell your mom and i was like mm. i gotta do what <laughs> and so when i told her i was just like i had to cover it because my little sister was there and she's nine years old so as of right now but she's nine years old she was eight at the time and I had someone, I was like, Mom, you're a G Ma. And she was like, That's how I told her. That's exactly how I told her. See, because I wasn't, see, I wasn't that scared of someone, Mom, because I don't live with my mom. I'm scared of someone like that. That's who I live with. That's the one where you got to deal with all the consequences and the, you know, everything. She was just like, It's not your fault. Like, I'm here for you. And you need me i'm there if you need something just let me know it was just all that stuff the biggest one was who i live with you know it's easy when you don't like if 
the person you live with is just like, oh, you know what I mean? All like that. But no. Uh -uh. I don't live her. So, it was just that, that didn't, it didn't mean as much. And after a while, it, you know, all the frustration and anger died down. And that's when I started, like, recording my little belly. As you can see, I was recording it and then I posted it and next thing you know it went right back to my dad and when I say my dad was livid he was livid and all his friends were calling him like hey you're about to be a old grandpa and I was just like when he, when he, when he came found out I was just I was scared so I just hurried up delete everything took it down tried to just just get it away I, and I just kind of felt like people were going to find out regardless, like, might as well let it come from me, basically. I didn't want to have to go around explaining to each and every person, answer so many questions. Like, if I just did it, I just got it out the way, it would get easy. But no, that just went straight to my dad. And then he took my phone. I was punished for some months, months for that. And he was like, you're just Portion. He was like, we're gonna get it. And I was just like, I can't. Like, I just, I can't get a baby on. That was 19 weeks. 19 weeks. I, I was just like, I can't. I can't. He actually took us to the place where we drove all the way. It was, it was somewhere. It was far. It took us a minute to get there. We drove all the way out there. He was like, you're getting it. And I'm, so I, we, I go in there and, um, sit me down and they're talking to me i'm just crying because one this is not right what if that was me i want to be here you know what i'm saying so i'm just i just cut it they do the little ultrasound and they, the name that's you know they prick my finger and then they was like okay well now i guess they have like, they always have it, like a little therapist that you can talk to in the abortion clinic so i go in there and i'm talking to her she, I was just like, I can't do this. And she was like, it's okay. You don't have to. And she was like, nobody can force you. And I was just like, but I was like, you don't understand. Like, you don't understand what I'm about to go through. And because I was so far along, they was like, I would actually have to, they would actually have to put me in labor just to deliver her, just to get rid of the baby. And I'm just like, no. Like, and then I was reading the, reading the thing, and it was like, you have to be comfortable with breaking the baby in pieces. And I was just like, because it was like a little little sheet that they give you, and you have to check off everything that you're comfortable with. And I was like, no. And I just put the thing down, and I just started crying. And then she was like, okay, well, you know, just sit there for a moment, take a moment, and then you can walk out, and you can leave. So I sat there for a moment, I ate some candy, I tried to get myself together, and I walk out, my dad's like, did you do it? Are you okay? And I'm like, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it, and I just start crying all over again. So we walk out the clinic, and we're standing like, we're, we're standing right in front of the clinic, and he's like, you need to go do it, you need to go do it, like, where are you going to live? <laughs> you know, all that stuff. And I was just like. I can't do that. I can't get away. I'm sorry. I can't get away. I just, I couldn't. Like that's just something that I and myself could not do. So then after a while, just like going back and forth, going back and forth in front of the clinic, like I was so embarrassed. And then um, we eventually leave. <sighs> that was that. That was that was that we left, and it was definitely like rough, super rough all over again like we went all the way back to day one just because i posted the freaking picture I, I had posted it i don't know why i did that i mean i understand i know why i did it just hope you don't ask me so many questions and i can just just get it out the way that's what it was for it was that for it to go all around and for people to call my dad and be like your grandpa it wasn't for that so then after that, you know, it, it died down. But that's it's still not that comfortable with it. Cause the other day, he was like, he was like, the baby's not gonna call him grandpa. No grandpa. Nope. He said, no, ma'am. I'm pretty sure he's going to love his granddaughter, and I hope. 
they have a relationship like how I have a relationship with my grandma. So yeah, that is how I found out. That was my parents' reaction. Crazy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And please, expect me more Team Mom videos because, boo, I'm going to be coming through. Y'all are going to understand what, it, what it's like to be in the life of a Team Mom. Y'all going to understand what that's like. Anyways, peace out. Peace. Bye, bye. Rock me real slow.